Here's my top five favorite tools for creating cinematic effects in Boris Effects Optics. Number one, light gobos. The light gobo filter allows you to add light elements to your still life or portrait photos, giving you full control over the scale, rotation, and position using the placement tools. Once you're happy with the positioning, you can add texture from the scene using the displacement slider. You can also tweak the blur and sharpness or selectively apply the effect using the easy mask tool. You can take things even further by adding your own black and white PNGs to use as gobos, making this the perfect tool for adding dynamic visual interest to your photography. No hardware or optical snoots needed. Number two, lens flares. Optics has an incredible filter gallery, which you can use for creating light sources such as sunlight or lamps, or alternatively as an ambient off-screen light source for your scene. Just like the gobos, you have full control over every element of your lens flare, including the blurriness, sharpness, rotation, brightness, and color. Whether you want to add some subtle ambiance or add a strong light source to a scene, the Optics Lens Flare Gallery has got you covered. Number three, skin tone. The Optics Skin Tone Filter Gallery was designed to color correct skin tones, but it can also be used as a global effect for applying beautiful warm and brown cinematic tones to your photography. You can use the Skin Tone Filter to apply a warm cinematic sheen to your entire scene, or alternatively, use it as its original purpose to color correct a model's skin. For instance, when I apply a Vintage 2 color strip edit to the scene, it makes the model's complexion look a little bit pale and unhealthy. But we can easily fix this by applying the Skin Tone Filter with an Easy Mask. If your skin tone effect is too heavy-handed or strong, you can tweak the intensity using the Preserve Highlights, Exposure Compensation, and Opacity sliders to really dial in the effect. Number 4. Vintage Color Strip The Vintage Color Strip presets are some of my favorite color grading tools in optics, producing an artistic vintage look quite similar to some of the work of Annie Leibovitz. A personal favorite is the Hugo Teal and Orange preset as it creates an otherworldly, dreamy aesthetic with a single click. This is a classic look that can elevate an image from a standard snapshot to a work of fine art. This filter looks incredible straight out of the box, but you can also take this effect further by setting your own filter colors for a unique and customized look. Number five, mist filters. I enjoy adding a cinematic fine art finish to my photography and digital arts project as the final touch. And my go-to tool for this work is the mist filter. Built to replicate TIFF and mist filters, these presets come in a variety of temperatures and do a great job of softening the sharpness of digital photography for an elegant and soft focus finish. The preset I use is depending on the project that I'm working on. For the demo image, I went with the Black Mist Filter 2 to create a hazy ambiance that makes the scene feel much more pleasing. I absolutely love this filter. That's my top five favorite tools for creating cinematic effects and optics. Which ones are your favorite? Let me know in the comments.